Hello mga kaplant parent, welcome back to my channel. So for today we will be talking about aglonema, Chinese evergreen, aglos or ags. We will discuss the complete care guide for your aglonema or Chinese evergreen. By the way, saan nga ba nagsimula or saan ba nagmula ang aglonema? Uh, actually, aglonema grow in the subtropical rainforests um, in Thailand, in Indonesia, Malaysia, and of course in the Philippines. Sabi nila, um, common na nga ang aglonema and I find this plant one of the easiest plant na alagaan. Actually, this is um, aglonema ang isa sa mga pinaka sinasuggest na plant for um, beginners kasi napakadali nilang alagaan. Don't skip, uh, watch the full video for the complete care guide uh, for your aglonemas or Chinese evergreen and we also have a surprise. And also if you have like a different technique on how to take care of aglonemas or Chinese evergreen, you can actually leave a comment kung meron kayong um, additional tips or suggestions sa pag-aalaga ng aglonema. Let's start the complete care guide for your aglonemas. So for the soil requirement, uh, for me, I'm still using the same soil mixture na sinasabi ko na rin sa past vlogs ko na uh, I have organic loam soil, coco peat, vermicast, and rice hull, and then wala naman nagiging problema. Some plant parent, they're actually using um, garden soil. Yung iba naman, pure na rice hull or ipa ng bigas. Um, wala rin naman naging problema. As long as well-drained yung pots natin, yung holes, yung holes sa ilalim talagang um, mag-release ng tubig, um, that's totally fine. Any types of soil, as long as well-drained siya, yun, um, okay tayo dun sa soil. So, aglonema actually um, can tolerate bright, indirect sunlight to medium to low light. Yes, aglonema can tolerate low light, pero um, babagal yung growth niya. So, magta-thrive siya ng mabagal. Um, and then, at the same time, kung may kulay yung dahon ng aglonema nyo, hindi siya magiging matingkad. So, magpipale siya or... Um, parang kukupas yung kulay niya. So, for those aglonemas na may kulay, for example, pink or dark, super red uh, type of aglonema, dapat ando sila sa may bright, indirect sunlight para um, ma-maintain yung kulay ng dahon. Um, like, for, uh, for example, ito. So, itong type of aglonema na to, di ba may, nakikita nyo may parang pink na kulay? or pink. Ayan, may pinkish na kulay siya. So, ito, um, I actually um, nakapwesto naka siya sa bright indirect sunlight. Actually, uh, nasa labas siya, pero shaded area. So, uh, I, I, I I'd make sure na uh, matatamaan siya ng araw, morning light lang, kasi all of the plants pa rin naman, kahit anong plants yan, kailangan pa rin ng sunlight. So, that's actually one of their um, one of the nutrient na kailangan ng halaman is yung sunlight. Kahit sabihin mo na natotolerate nila yung low light, so once in a while, kailangan pa rin dapat um, natatama sila ng araw. So, morning sun will do. Um, again, up until 8am pwede na. And then, itabi natin sila sa shaded area para kahit pa paano, ma-maintain yung kulay ng dahon nila. Um, but for some of the aglonemas naman na um, like green lang yung ano yung dahon, yan, that's totally fine kahit nasa low light sila. But again, um, please expect na babagal yung growth nila and matagal yung pag-drive ng halaman. So, sa pagdidilig naman ng aglonema, we need to make sure na the top two inches of the soil is dry before tayo magdilig. Um, and we need to make sure na yung soil is dry in between waterings to avoid overwater or to avoid root rot and uh, fungus. So, kung sakali naman magkaroon ng fungus dahil sa na-overwater, um, you can actually scrape it 
And then, make sure na i-dry nyo muna yung soil bago tayo mag-delig ulit. Kaya natin kailangan mag-dry yung, yung soil before tayo mag-delig. Kasi, yung aglonimas natin, itong stem, itong stem na to, so, eto, nakikita. Itong mga stem na to, uh, nag-hold sila or nag-absorb sila ng water. So, kaya, okay lang kahit mag-dry na yung lupa. Um, bago tayo magdilig. Kesa naman sa ma-overwater, um, pwede siyang mag, pwede mag-cause ng root rot or mag-form mag, uh, ng fungus. So, again, we need to make sure na um, dry na yung soil before tayo magdilig ulit. And then, kung underwater naman or sobrang dry naman ng lupa at hindi na natin nadidiligan yung aglonima natin, uh, may kita nyo naman yung dahon na naninilaw na Um, you can actually let it dry para kusang malaglag yung dahon or pwede nyo rin siya putulin pero puputulin nyo siya sa pinakadulo ng stem. Alright, and again, I'm not using any special type of uh, pandilig or water. Rainwater will do. At ang pinaka, again, pinakauna ko pa rin ginagamit is yung hugas bigas kahit sa anong halaman ko. Yung hugas bigas and then rainwater and then yun last is yung um, top water na kung talagang walang option. So, again, you need to uh, let it rest ng within 24 hours para mag-evaporate um, yung chlorine do sa tubig. Um, but again, bugas bigas is the, the, the best na pandilig pa rin sa kahit anong halaman. Uh, itong mga aglonimas, they actually like moist and warm. Meaning to say, gusto nila ng mainit yung surroundings nila, yung temperature mainit, pero um, you need to keep them moist. So, some are actually using humidifier. So, para kahit pa paano, kung mainit man, um, may, may moist pa rin na nasasagap yung aglonima. Ako naman, what I'm doing is, I'm actually, um, I, I spray them uh, every morning, um, nag spray ako sa kanila ng yun, so, sa bottled spray with gems liquid fertilizer. Lagay ko yung pangalan ng liquid fertilizer sa description. So, yun yung ginagamit ko. Ginagamit ko lang mga isang patak nun sa um, like ganito kalaking um, spray bottle. And then, yun, ini-spray ko sa kanila tuwing umaga. Para kahit pa paano, may moist sila. Pero kung wala naman kayo nung humidifier or wala kayong pang spray, uh, you can just um, use any flat na lalagyan and then pwede kayo maglagay doon ng um, like pebbles or bato. And then lagyan nyo ng tubig, tsaka nyo ipatong doon yung um, mga aglonimas nyo yung pasok. Para kahit pa paano, pag nag-evaporate yung tubig, yun na yung magiging moist doon sa halaman For fertilizer naman, I'm, uh, yun, yung sinasabi ko rin kanina, yung gems, liquid fertilizer, uh, ginagamit ko din yun. Again, sinasama ko sa spray bottle and then ini-spray ko sa uh, sa dahon or sa, sa foliage and then sa stem din. So, yun, para moist, namo-moist din sila. And then, um, yung dinurog din na eggshells and then yung tea bags, sinasama ko rin sa lupa kapag ka, for example, nag-repot ako ng, ng aglonimas. Very effective. So, itong mga tuhugas bigas lang, um, fertilizer na rin yun, yung starch na bigas, uh, or rainwater, that can also serve as fertilizer. Eggshells, nilag nilagyan ko rin to ng eggshells. And then, um, yun, inispray ko ng um, gems liquid fertilizer. Every morning. So, yan. Ito rin, meron pa ako na itong, itong variety ng aglonima na to. So, yan. Alright, so, basically, that's it. That's the complete care guide for your uh, aglonimas or Chinese evergreen. Okay, guys, so, before we end this vlog, so, as I promised, meron tayong pa-surprise. So, ito na yung ating paraffle na nabanggit ko dun sa ating Happy 1K subscribers. 
and most of the comments na nabasa ko is uh, gusto nila load so yun yun na lang ipaparapol natin load and kinuha ko yung mga list ng names lahat ng nag-comment doon sa 1k subscribers and ito bubunutin natin so our first um, prize is 200 peso load second is 100 peso load and the third prize is 50 peso load so let's start with um, the 50 peso load so let's check So the winner for 50 peso load is Leon Pascual TV. Tanyo ba? So it's Leon. Di makita. Yan. Leon Pascual TV. Yeah. So you have a uh, 50 peso load. So our next is the 100 peso load. Let's check. It's a uh, Donna Mears TVY. Donna Mears TVY. 100 peso load Dona Mears TVY. Ayan. Dona Mears. Dona Mears TVY. Okay. And for the first price, the 200 peso load. It's Jewel. It's Jewel. 200 peso load. Congratulations. It's Jewel. It's Jewel. Yan, pal. It's Jewel. Okay, so um, congratulations to all the winners sa raffle natin. Alright, so that's it for today mga Kaplan Parent. And again, thank you for watching. Um, again, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and again thank you for um, all your support so we're aiming for 2000 na so let's go for the gold and then um, again stay awesome and be happy every day thank you so much god bless us all bye